In this short video, I hope I can depict photographically the events of the 40th anniversary commemorative bike ride which started on Sunday the 5th of June 2022 in Cardiff and finished 8 days and 400 miles later in Aldershot. Between April the 2nd and June the 14th, 1982, many lives of many British soldiers would be changed, some forever and irreversibly. I got put into contact with Gus Hales, who was organising a commemorative bike ride, which was just the type of activity I was looking for in which to reflect on the war in which I was involved in 40 years ago. Personally, I don't like parades, piss-ups or church services to remember those who fell behind. Unfortunately, I vividly remember the events of 40 years ago, some of which I would rather forget. So yes, 40 years ago I was amongst those young men who marched down the road from Brunevald Barracks in Aldershot and went to war. Forty years on, and now with many in their 60s, this physical challenge, in my eyes, would be a good and fitting way to remember those who did not return. Day one, the cost of the conflict was carved into the memorial stone in Cardiff on the Falklands Memorial for us to all read and reflect upon. Some speeches from the great and the good, a short religious service from the Padre and the last post and then we were off, cycling along the Taft Trail towards Taliban. Day two, we spent the first night in Taliban on us youth hostel, and then in the morning we rode into Brecon, past the 160 Brigade HQ, whose staff turned out to cheer us on, and for some bizarre reason the MOD police would not allow us into the HQ courtyard, where a band was playing for us, as we did not have clearance to enter. Hey ho. But then we cycled onto the memorial gardens for a service of remembrance by the Bishop of Brecon, and were serenaded by a ukulele band who lifted the sombre feeling of the occasion. Day three, we then cycled on to Hereford where we visited the SAS Memorial Cemetery at St Martin's Church. I was lucky enough to have my daughter, grandson and son-in-law meet me here, which was so nice, though I did get scorn for feeding my grandson a custard cream biscuit as he has been raised as a vegan. Poor chap. we had a beautiful ride through some stunning countryside, joined at one point by a guy on a penny farthing bike. Jason had planned and wrecked this route. Napoleon has said that time spent in reconnaissance is rarely wasted. However, in this case, it seems that the route took us down a flooded, muddy, dark, inhospitably disused railway line. We all turned up at Aldersley Holiday Inn, looking like mud-encrusted hillbillies. We cycled on to Wolverhampton, en route we called in at a church to pay our respects to Freddie Kemp who was OC 9 Squadron during the Falklands conflict. It was fitting to have his children Hannah and Freddie to join us for this two day section of the ride. En route we visited the Aeronautical Museum at RAF Cosford where we also picked up a contingent of RAF cyclists 
who cycled with us to the velodrome at Ruggedly. laps for 40 years. This was the concept of the velodrome ride. For me, amazingly and unplanned, I managed to do 40 laps for 40 years at 40 kilometers an hour. Amazing. From Wolverhampton, we cycled on to Meriden via the National Memorial Arboretum, where we had a service of remembrance. Day six was a fairly uneventful day. We had a short remembrance ceremony at the National Cyclist Memorial in Meriden before cycling onto the Falklands Arms pub. And then from there, we ended up in a piss up in a vicarage. On day seven, we cycled from Chipping Norton to Streetly on Thames, where we were met, fed, and watered by the local Women's Institute and entertained by the local Morris dancers. Day 8, from Streetly on Thames to Aldershot via the Memorial Chapel at Pangbourne where a short memorial service was led by Padre David Cooper, two powers legendary Padre during the Falklands War.
Aldershot, this is where many of us were stationed at the start of the Falklands War. It felt like we were coming home. The newly erected bronze airborne warrior statue was our final port of call. After 400 miles cycling, many of us were weary and glad it was all over. Personally, I'd kindled new friendships and reinforced old ones. There was a fantastic feeling of camaraderie. A very enjoyable and fitting event to commemorate the Falklands War 40 years ago.